In this video, I'm going to show you how to build the Estes Gnome rocket. This is a great starting rocket for the younger modelers in your house. It's really easy to build and won't take long at all. Uh, to get started, you're going to need the, the Gnome kit, which we should have given you, uh, and the instructions for that. You'll need plastic model cement. You'll need your hobby knife. You'll need some kind of a ruler of a straight edge. We've got to measure a couple things. And it'll also be handy if you have this marking guide, which we use to mark the straight lines on the rocket. So get those things and pause the film here, get those things and come on back. Well, now that you've opened up your kit, you should examine it to make sure you have all these parts. There should be a body tube. There's a nose cone. There's actually two parts of the nose cone. There's the main part and there's this little piece that goes in the bottom. Um, you have this thing we call a fin can. It's the fins plus a thing that goes around the body tube. It's all one big piece. We call that a fin can. There's the engine clip that holds the engine in. There's your shock cord, which case is kind of a rubber bandy one. There's this other piece that holds the shock cord in, another plastic piece that goes around the top. Uh, I don't know what the name of that is. Uh, there's some plastic streamer for your recovery system. And then there's a little decal you can put on there too. So get all these parts and make sure you got them all. And when you got them all, we'll move on to the next step. We will be following along the steps on the instruction set that you have in the kit so you can uh, use those while you're looking at the video. And the very first thing we're going to do is to put our nose cone together. So to put our nose cone together, you're going to need these two parts. You're going to need your nose cone and this little base of the nose cone. And you're going to need your plastic model cement. So to do this, open up your plastic model cement. And put a very small bead of this just on the inside of the nose cone. Just right at the, at the very end of it, right on the end. Uh, generally, people put too much in there. You don't need to put a whole lot in there. Make sure you got a little bead around there. Put the top on this right away. That'll keep the nasty gases away. And then just take the bottom of it, stick it in there, and give it a little turn back and forth. That's all there is to it. And set it down, and you're done with the nose cone. Well, I'm a big believer in knowing where you're going before you start a trip. So before we start going through all the steps of building this, let's just talk about what this is going to look like when we're done. When we're done with this, this fin can is going to be on the bottom of the rocket. This little ring here is going to be most of the way up the top of the rocket, maybe about that far down below it. And really importantly, this loop on the fin can and this loop in this upper ring are have to line up on a straight line because they're going to be what holds the rocket on the launch rod during, during launching. So you're going to have those there. That's, and this motor clip if you look on your fin can, there's one place where there's a slot through it. And this motor clip is actually going to be underneath the fin can, but in that location. And it's going to hold the motor in the rocket. Uh, and then the shock cord is actually going to be inside the body tube. And it's going to come out through a hole underneath this ring. And the ring is going to hold that in. So the, the shock cord is going to be underneath this ring. And it's going to go inside the body tube and come out the body tube like that. And so when it's all put together, that's what it's going to look like. Uh, I think it always looks it's helpful to look ahead. So that's what it's going to look like. Uh, and now we'll get on to the actual building part. So in order to make sure that these two pieces are lined up properly, like I said, the first thing we're going to do is draw one straight line all the way down your body tube. And you want to use your, your tube marking guide uh, that I gave you. If you don't have that, the instruction set show you how to do this on the corner of a door or something, which is kind of a silly way to do it. But you want to, you just want to draw a straight line all the way down the rocket. So you've got down the body tube of the rocket. So you've got a straight line all the way down on the tube. All right. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to have to make some marks in here. And um, the actual dimensions that you're going to have to mark on here are on your instructions if you don't hear them very well. But from one end, you want to mark, uh, make one mark that is nine millimeters from the bottom. So there's one that's nine millimeters from the bottom. And the next one is 3.8 centimeters or 38 millimeters from the bottom. They also give you the inch measurements if you'd rather do it that way. 
and then at the other end you want to mark to make a mark again it's 38 uh, millimeters from the end okay so when you're done with this part you should have three marks on it one that's nine millimeters from the end one that's 3.8 centimeters or 38 millimeters and one that's 38 millimeters from the end so go get those marked up and then we'll go on to the next step Okay, the next step is the only cutting we're going to do in this build. Uh, so parents with really young kids, you probably should do this part yourself. They can do a lot of the rest of this themselves. But we're going to make two cuts in our body tube. And we're just making little short slits. Down at the end where you put the two marks, we're going to put two cuts. Uh, one is for the... Sorry, we're going to put one cut at this end and one cut at this end. Uh, one, this one down at this end is where this hooked end of the motor hook is going to go in. And the one at the top end is where we're going to push the shock cord through. So each one of these ones only need to be about as wide in width as the motor mount. So don't make them real wide. And all you do is just take your hobby knife at these marks and push it in there until you've got a cut that's about the right width. Do that at both ends. You put your hobby knife away, that's all you're going to need your hobby knife for. So make those two cuts and then we can move on to the next step. Okay, the next step we're going to do is to put our motor hook in this one slot. So you just want to take your motor hook and push it in there and make it to get it through that slot. If it doesn't pop through right away, then go back and get your hobby knife and make your slot a little wider or a little longer. So it's probably not the problem that it's too short. It's probably long enough in this direction. It's probably just not wide enough. And then just wiggle this in there until it pops in there. And it should pop in there just like that. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put this fin can. I like to dry fit these things before we actually put them on. So the fin can is going to come down here over this and right over that edge of it right there. And so that's what it's going to look like. So try and fit this fin can on there by yourself first before dry mounted before you put the glue on. And the instructions tell you to, to put this on here so the bottom of this sticks out three eighths of an inch and the top of this is really near there. Honestly, as long as your fin can is any place between where the top of it is at the top of the body hook and the bottom of the body tube sticks out just a teeny bit, it's fine. In fact, the farther that you put your fin can down this direction, the better. So before you put any glue on there, dry fit that and make sure you understand where it goes. There's just one slot in the fin can that the hook has to go on. So dry fit it and then we'll come back and glue it. All right, so now you have that dry fitted and you know exactly where it goes. Slide it back up the body tube so it's above where it's gonna end up and take your plastic cement again and just put a bead of this right around about the middle here. And again, it doesn't need to be a very big one, but just right through the, right about the middle, halfway up where this engine hook is. And this one could be a pretty generous bead, but it doesn't need to be real big. And then again, seal up your glue right away so it doesn't get stinky. And now just slide the fin can down over that glued spot and again I'm going to take it almost all the way down to the bottom I have just a little bit of the body tube sticking out the bottom again it doesn't matter exactly um, how far down it goes as long as the body tube the body tube should be at least to the bottom of this maybe stick out a little more and the fin can shouldn't be any farther up than the top of the of the hook the farther you push it down this direction, the more stable the rocket's going to be. Okay, so go put that on. So now what we have to do is get our shock cord through this other slot we cut up here and down inside the body tube. The first thing to do is to make sure that slot is pretty wide, so put your hobby knife in there and wiggle it back and forth to make sure it's pretty wide because that shock core is a lot fatter than the knife on your hobby tube. 
And then get a pencil and make sure it has a, a good sharp point on it to do this part. And take your shock cord and, and lay it over top of the slot so it just sticks over the back, the one end of it, maybe just a few millimeters. And then just take your pencil and push the shock cord, push the end of the shock cord down into the tube. Once you get it in there a little bit, you'll be able to feed it through the tube. And just keep pushing it in there until you got a whole bunch, a big loop of it inside the tube. And eventually, you get to the point where you can reach with your pencil or some other something else, or an old paper clip or something, and pull it out here. And then, then you can pull it out. And when you pull it out, pull it until you have oh, just about maybe like five millimeters, you know, maybe like a, a quarter of an inch or so sticking out, out the bottom. Don't pull it all the way through or you just got to stick it all back in again. All right, now we're going to put this ring on. Now this ring has two different sides on it. It has one side that's, that's flat in this direction. That's, that's flat across this way, and the other side of it, if you look at it real careful, is kind of beveled in. The beveled in part goes to the top of the rocket, so it's going to slide with the flat part on the bottom. And then if you also look at it, you'll see there's a little notch in one part of it right here. And that part's going to go over the shock cord. Now again, I want you to dry fit this before you put the glue on. So slide your shock cord through there, all right? and then slide it onto the body tube and make sure that that place where the slot is is lined up on this line and what you're going to do is we're going to glue it right over the end of that shock cord and it's going to hold the shock cord on and and so what you want to do you want to make sure that you have it on there and you got enough shock cord that it, it sticks out the bottom there a little bit and then you want to look at it in this direction and make sure that these two loops are lined up so I'm going to look at it myself down this way, and yeah, they're, they're lined up pretty good. All right, so that's the way we're going to glue it on. Now that you have it dry fit and it all fits, go ahead and slide this off back up. All right, you got your little extra shock cord stick there. Again, get some of your plastic cement and put a little bead of glue right where the just just below where the hole is that you cut for the shock cord. Okay, it doesn't take very much. Seal that off right away so you don't have noxious fumes all over your house. And just slide this on just over the shock cord. So if I can just see where the slice is. And then when I'm done, look in this direction and then twist these so they line up. If they're not lining up straight, then twist this one a little bit until it lines up. Okay? So go do that part. Get your shock cord put in there and get that put on. That's the hardest part of the whole rocket. All right. Well, now all we have to do is the final assembly. Now that you've got your fin can glued on and you've got this shock cord and this little retaining ring glued on there, we just have to tie the shock cord on the nose cone. So just slide it through here. Just tie it a regular old square knot. So go right over left, pull that tight, go left over right, and pull that tight. So that's good and tight. And then we just have to put on our streamer. So take the streamer is really easy. Just take the streamer and put it kind of near the near the top of this, maybe a few inches below the nose cone. And you're going to need um, a little bit of scotch tape on here. And so just put that on there, take a short piece of scotch tape, all right, and put that on here first to tape this down to there. And then take another piece and then I put this on backwards on there so it's sticky part is sticking up and then fold it over over the top of the streamer and rub that down and put it there. So now you have that on there really good and tight. Uh, and now to put your streamer in here, don't just wad it up. Just
fold it over in halves and just keep folding it in half. So fold it in half, fold it in half, fold it in half, fold it in half, and then when you finally get to the end, you can roll it up. And now you just kind of shove all this stuff down inside the body tube. The instructions tell you to put wadding in here and all kinds of stuff, and we'll do that out at the field. You don't need to worry about that. We'll take care of, we have the motors for this out at the, out at the field, and we have the igniters and all the rest of the stuff that's in the instruction set. So you can, you'll, we'll help you do that part out at the field. you want to, you can use your pencil to help you push that in there. Make sure your nose cone fits on there. And there you go. There's a gnome rocket and it's ready to fly. And if you want, you can take the um, little cool decal on here and stick it on there if you want to. Or you can have, you can paint it, you know, you can get your markers out and paint it different colors. But if you want to, you can put the decal on there too. That's all there is to it. It's a really simple rocket. Have fun building it, and we'll see you out at the launch site.